Uh, good evening. It's, uh, it's lovely to be here and thank you very much for taking the time uh, to come out this evening. Uh, shall we pray? Almighty God, we give you thanks for all our blessings, for the freedom that we have in you. We pray now that you may give us the gift of your spirit, that we may discern your movement in this city that you may give us eyes to see and courage to act, and so that we may offer to more the life that you have given us in all its fullness and freedom. Amen. Amen. There are at least 14 million, 40 million victims of modern slavery uh, in the world today. There is something like 13,000 in the, in the UK. And in one of the wealthiest countries in the world, in one of the most diverse capital cities, and we have a wonderful riches of heritage, of history, modern slavery is thriving. Thousands are forced into domestic servitude, forced into labor or sexual exploitation in plain sight of Londoners every day of the week. And there are many that are falling through the cracks, that they are hidden from view, from the view of the authorities, from charities, and also from the church. And of course, behind those statistics, there are people. There are people with their own story, people who in fact may not even know that they are in forced labor or they are being sexually exploited. Whether it's the woman or the girl that is trafficked, to work in the illegal sex trade, or a man forced to work in the construction industry or in a factory, or the child married against their will, none are free. And so what does the Lord require of us? Mar Micah tells us to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. We're about to come to the end of the season of Epiphany. It is the season of generosity, of the gifts of the Magi, of water being turned into wine, of love being declared from above. For the so for about, oh, it is a season of songs of hope from Simeon and words of hope from Anna. And as we approach Candlemas this weekend, we begin to turn to look to the cross and to Lent. And we see there the generosity of God in Christ Jesus. And that generosity, the generosity of God, is the foundation on which we are called to reflect that generosity of love and light in this world. We are called to love mercy, to act justly, and to walk humbly with our God. There is already some brilliant work that is going on right, in this, right here in this capital. For example, you have the opportunity to hear from and to talk with those involved at All Souls Church Langham Place. They have taken inspiration from two, the two stories of women in the Bible being mistreated by men and society. The charity Tamar provides essential support and advocacy by reaching out to women who are suffering through sexual exploitation and modern slavery in the borough of Westminster. And Tamer is one of five partner charities of this year's Lent Appeal. It is what we are going to support. The others are Ella's Home, Love 146, The Rise Pro Project, and Carolit Yarn. All do equally incredible work. And talking to those this evening who work within those organisations, I have begun to catch a bit of their passion, a bit of their perseverance, and a bit of why they do what they do. But listening to them, I know that there is a cost to what they do. It can be emotionally and spiritually draining. And so I would encourage you to pray for them. But also there is a financial cost. And you will know that in this existing environment, raising funds for charitable organisations, particularly those who have 
uh, roots within Christian organisations is not always easy. So I would encourage you not only to pray for them, but to consider how you can be involved in supporting them uh, financially. And maybe it's something your parishes would want to do. From today to the end of Lent across London, we will be encouraging parishes to increase your, their awareness of modern day slavery. We hope that we will equip you with the skills to spot the signs and the skills to spot uh, how you take action. But also, I would hope that you would also find the courage to do that. This year's Lent Appeal will also build on the wonderful work of the Church of England's CLEAR initiative. It is part of the national church's approach to eradicating modern day slavery, which was launched by the Archbishop of Canterbury in October 2017. It rightly calls for a community-wide approach, a, re a community response to modern day slavery. It is developing partnerships across the churches, but also across government, across statutory and non-statutory organisations. And it really is seeking to create networks of advocates, people who will work together to end modern day slavery. Like modern day slavery, the kingdom of God often lies hidden in plain sight. I do believe that we together can make a difference. We can work together to ensure that injustice is overcome, that we can work together to see an end to modern day slavery. And in doing so, recognising the generosity of God, we can make the generosity of the kingdom of God known in this city and in this place. So I commend to you this year's Lent Appeal. I commend to you the work of our partner charities and of the CLEAR initiative. And I would encourage you to find out more, to pray, to think about how your parishes can support them financially, but also how you can learn more about modern day slavery. So it enables you to spread that knowledge and together we can spot signs, we can take action, and we can bring about a little bit more of the kingdom of God in this place. Thank you.